Hello, it is the day. It's the day where we're gonna play Stardew Valley again. And I am so excited. I have not played since the 1.6 update came out at all. I have seen a little bit of gameplay from it, so I know what to expect, but I suppose we're gonna be exploring the update together. How are you guys? Hi, uh, Kate here, Meow, and Avisham, how are you doing? I honestly haven't been really doing anything today because, uh, well, I was out the whole day like with some family stuff until I think like 2 p.m. Now it's 5, so I, I didn't really get any work done today. <laughs> How about you? I'm also good. I feel like I just, ever since I came back from Germany, even though I came back like very late Monday, so it was almost Tuesday basically, that's how late I came back. I still feel like I can't get like a grasp of getting back to the flow, flow of work and uh, taking care of the house. I, I feel like I'm just behind on everything. So I've been trying to catch up. But today, because I was uh, so busy with family stuff, I didn't do anything and I, <laughs> I feel like a failure because tomorrow is already the weekend. And I haven't done that much this week. Hi, Johan. Coming back from vacation sucks. Yeah, it's like a back to reality. You've been just having such a great time. And then, well, back to real world, back to real life. And you just have to somehow get back on the grinds. Which, I mean, I get it. But also, like, if I could just chill out a little bit more wouldn't mind it hi nika and hi you how are you doing okay uh are you excited for natlin depends if you want an honest answer so let's go to stardew valley i've already prepared a little bit of what we're dealing with but i haven't put the favorite thing yet because i was hoping that maybe you guys can help me out a little bit so we're gonna play as uh well some sort of alternate version of me so i have a little character named kato she has blue hair last time when we played stardew i had the green hair and i thought what about a different color this time and so we're having a blue hair uh you've never played stardew oh listen listen if you like cozy games this will be it this will be it Yay, Stardew! Yeah, I mean, I don't talk about who I will pull, but also I will not be talking about who I will pull for, as because uh, I don't care. <laughs> so, <laughs> I want to play, but it's so expensive on Nintendo Switch. Wait, is it really expensive on Nintendo Switch? I know on PC it's like so cheap and you can get it on sale as well. And I personally think that... Well, the creator of the game genuinely could be charging more. So I'm surprised that it's expensive on Nintendo Switch. I mean, then again, it's Nintendo, so... This is probably it. Oh, wait, I didn't set my animal preference. <gasps> oh my god, look at the babies. No, I want a cat, of course. Should we have a white one or a black one? I think you can also have multiple cats in this save. This one kind of looks like Mushu, so like my real life cat. But I kind of want the new one. Oh, these look so cool. Maybe the white fluff ball? It looks like the Sailor Moon cat to me. It's like $30? Oh, that's way more expensive. I don't know how much it is right now, but I think it's like maybe $20 at max. Maybe? Also, still no 1.6 update on Switch. Okay, that is devastating. Like, it's been months, right? It's almost... Maybe it's already been four months. Okay. White one, it's cute. Yeah, I'm also leaning towards it. It's, it's kind of kind of cute and fluffy. I decided to name our farm Flower Farm because I figured what if we named all of our animals that we're gonna have 
after flowers. So, you know, we would have daisy, rose, pansy, dandelion, and all of those. Just an idea. I bought my Stardew on sale. I was so happy. Me too, you. I also got my Stardew on like such a huge sale. It was like 50% off on Christmas, by the way. So that was like the best Christmas ever. <laughs> But I'm um, still not used to the controls. Matthew, I see you. <laughs> How are you doing? Yay for Stardew here in Lurky as always. Hi, Livy. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate the Lurk. So what should we put as the favorite thing? I don't know. What would be our favorite thing? I mean, cats, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Dandelion is a great name for a white kitten. Mm, maybe, but I feel like it's a little bit too long. I'm doing balls to the walls. <laughs> hello, hello. Also me and Matthew, we did a save to play together. Really? Oh, that's cool. I love that. Wait, favorite thing, favorite thing. What could we do? Hmm... If we have flowers of the theme, maybe a favorite thing could be... Uh, maybe like a specific flower. Carrots? Why do you want carrots? <laughs> why, why carrots though? Um, okay, I'm thinking way too much on this. What about... Because I like carrots. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. The favorite thing is gonna be... Maybe, you know what? How about we just generalize it and just say nature. Like, we love nature. We love the outdoors. I'm playing on the standard farm because... I want to. <laughs> the community center bundles, rewards, all, or, all normal. I just checked on the guarantee one year complete. I don't think I'm gonna actually be able to do it, but we will see. We're not gonna be skipping the intro. I think we're gonna play the game just by trying to read everything. And I think we can honestly start. I'm going to turn off the music already and okay. I love how 99% of my characters in Stardew are always Tamayo likes wisteria fly or flowers, really? <laughs> and for my very special granddaughter. It's me! I want you to have the sealed envelope. Also, this bed is horrible. Oh, can I read it? No, no, don't open it yet. Ah, have patience. Also, what has been grandpa doing? He has a freaking sword here. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Mm. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. What is this game's lore? I'll explain it in a second when we finish the cutscene, okay? When that happens, my dear, you will be ready for this gift. I will be. I am always ready, Grandpa. Now let Grandpa rest. Oh. 20 years later? Okay. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. Dun, 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 work. That, that kind of looks like Jody, by the way. <laughs> Am I the only one who thinks that this woman looks like Jody? And then. Here we are, just tired, tired. Oh, oh, the character is so sad. Uh, hi, Gato. Hi, everyone. So glad you're back. Oh, hi, Rizzy. I'm glad you're back too. Jojo Siwa. No, <laughs> this the, Jojo is like um, like a supermarket company. I don't know how to say this, like in this game. And they're the bad guys, essentially. Dear Kato, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. 
real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Flower Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you're honored the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. So that is, that is the beginning of the lore. We are inheriting a farm from our grandpa and our main goal is to, well, first of all, restore the farm to its previous state, grow crops, earn money, have some farm animals. But also there is the second objective in the game, which is to complete the community center, which is this building that used to be a place where people used to hang around in and connect with one another, but it has been abandoned for many, many years. And therefore like the community doesn't feel as tight anymore. So we take on the mission to restore the community center and bring back the love and joy to Stardew Valley. Uh, P.S. Postcription. If Lewis is still alive, <laughs> that sounds horrible. Say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Mm, okay. Hi, K114X. Welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Uh, are you playing with any mods? No. I am not playing with any mods and I think I want to play completely vanilla. Maybe at some point, if we, for example, finish this playthrough and then, I don't know, in a year or so, I want to replay Stardew Valley, I would be down to maybe try the expanded one. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see, we'll see. <sighs> yes, he, he passed away, the grandpa passed away. What the hell was that sound? Oh, hello, Robin. You must be Kato. Yes, it is me. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you follow me. I'm excited. I love starting new safe in Stardew. So this is our little house and the farm that the grandpa left. This is flower farm. Yikes. Oh, you couldn't see because my webcam is blocking. Oh no. What? Okay. First of all, uh, I don't know if you can hear noises in the background. Second of all, listen, bye, ban. Let me quickly close the door because it's so loud. Okay. Why did the entire screen like disappear? Oh, wait, I know why. <laughs> Hold on. Um. Oh, okay, that should be better. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, it, because I wanted to do this. But then this happened. Okay. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. God, I was trying to jump scare us. Yeah, like I, I would, wouldn't be surprised if you were like, wait, what the hell? Is the stream on? <laughs> it is on, I promise. I just messed up. I'm the problem. And here we are, your new home. Oh my god. Tell me, guys. Are you more of like a city person or a countryside person? I feel like I'm like a suburbs city person. I don't like living in big cities in like in the center of a city, but I still like the convenience of the city. And now, especially that I moved to the countryside, I can confirm that... I liked living in the suburbs more than I like in the countryside. Depends on the day. Same for you, you. Mm. I guess it's nice because you have, like, for example, stores are closed, right? 
and you can just go to a store, do your errands and such. Welcome, I'm Louis, mayor of Pelican Town. Pelican Town is uh, the town within Stardew Valley. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. I can imagine. It's uh, like to have closed doors to you. Yeah, I've never experienced living in a really, really big city, even though my city is the capital of the state. But it's still a small city. Oh, I understand. City, because I don't like bugs and nature. Not that I hate it, but I feel uncomfortable around insects. See, I agree with you, especially on the bugs, because I didn't realize how many bugs there are on the in the countryside until I moved here. And first of all, the bugs, I don't know why in the city, the same bug is much smaller. In the countryside, huge. They're huge. <laughs> uh, so I don't know which one I prefer. When I go to my other house for, you know, long vacation, it's really difficult uh, to myself to have to drive 12 kilometers to that. Yeah, I don't know how many kilometers I have, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a similar amount. So you're moving into your... Uh, your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. <laughs> mm, it's cute though, I like it. Rustic, that's one way to put it. <laughs> Crusty. Okay, Robin. Can you... I think you can hear the... the saw in the background. Maybe I should close the windows. Should I? Or is it like okay? because I can close it. Listen, Robin, do not offend my grandpa's little cottage. Uh, it's not convenient to always need a car to go buy stuff. Yeah, rude. For me, it's fine. It's stopped now. No, it's fine. Okay, good. Don't listen to her, Kato. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Busted. <laughs> Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Uh, this morning there was a guy hammering on the floor right above mine all morning. Oh god. The townspeople would appreciate that. I'm definitely gonna go introduce myself to everyone. She's going for the profits. They all kind of are. Like, you know my mortal enemy, Peer? What a scammer. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in a box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> We're starting. We're starting. Oh. Ooh, yeah, I know. I know the controls. I do. I think. Maybe. What if I don't? I definitely want to get at least one chest, like, ASAP. Beautiful sunny day. Fortune teller. I mean, we don't really need that. Uh, no, I do know that. Okay, so, first things first. We gotta clean up a little bit of this field because I need to plant my parsnips. So, we can take ourselves some space here. It would be good also to have a way to get to the water. Mm -hmm. oh. I am also worried because I always have energy issues when I first start a new save in Stardew. Because I'm so used to having a lot of energy in other saves. And then when I have to come back to having like no energy, I'm like, oh, I'm struggling. <laughs> I love this game aesthetics. Same. Some people don't like the pixel art, but I, I, I am the opposite. I absolutely adore it. I think. Hold on. If we do nine plus nine, that will be eighteen, and we have fifteen seeds. Um. So we definitely also have to buy a few more. Hmm. Maybe we could buy 18 more seeds, unless I don't have money. Maybe I don't have money. 
Hmm. I'll be right back. Uh, dinner and come back. No problem. Have a great dinner. Uh, who do you hate most and start you? The most? Mm hmm. Good question. Maybe... I don't... I don't know. I mean, I really dislike both Pierre and Louis. So I can't choose who I hate more out of these two. Because both of them literally get on my nerves so much. <laughs> I have no patience for them. I need to reorganize these at some point for sure. Okay, let's get one, two, three plus nine. That's twelve. Twelve seeds. I can do that. Uh, the colors of this game is like pleasure to the eyes. I know because it's so colorful, but not too much. I feel like it's a perfect balance. I feel like my eyes don't get tired of it. Exactly. I don't hate anyone. Clint, that creep. You know what? I forgot about Clint. You are so right. Clint, especially because I like Emily a lot. Wait. Okay, bookseller. That I know that we can get books and like special skills from them. But this, I don't know what that is. That looks cool. This is Emily, right? I I like Emily a lot. And maybe we're gonna marry her. I don't know. But Clint... Uh-uh. Nice guy TM, but make it worse. Like, oh, it's, I, no, don't even. Don't even get me started on him. Peter? Who's Peter? No, I mean Pierre. Pi... P Pair, Pier. That's how you pronounce his name, isn't it? Pier. Not Peter. Pier. This man. Pierre. Oh, Pierre. <laughs> yeah. Hola. Hi, Sarotis. How are you doing? Hey, it's Miss Cato, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local gar general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy products from you for a good price. <laughs> good price, you scammer. Don't trust him, guys. Do not sell him stuff. He... Literally, if you try to sell the same thing that you bought from him, he... Uh, pays you less than the amount of money you paid. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Is there, like... Chainsaw in the background, okay, or do I need to close the window? Actually, I recently gifted Stardew to my best friend birthday because it's my favorite game and I wanted her to try it. She was so happy. Well, that's such a sweet, inconsiderate gift. I love it. I feel like it's loud. Maybe, hold on, I'm gonna close the window. I feel bad. That should be that should be much better. For me, it's fine. Is it really? Because for me, it's actually really loud. If you sell your fish to Willy, he starts to say bad things about you. Wait, what? But I imagine it's pretty love for you. Yeah, it is. Oh, I don't have space for this. Okay. Mm. Well, I guess I'm buying only one type of seed. What should I get? I mean, I really want more. Oh, can I? Maybe I can sell this. I don't need it. Um, I really want... I needed how many seeds? It's three plus nine. So 12 seeds. Mm -hmm. How about we get three of those? And then I need nine, all right? Maybe I should just get like parsnips only? And then hold on, can I give you the da daffodil, sorry? 
That's very kind of you. I like this. Good. Because now I, I, I have one more space for to buy something else. We can buy maybe just like one more plant. Uh, how about a bean starter? Because it takes 10 days to grow. Okay. And let's talk to Marnie. Ah, oh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. I definitely will. If you're gonna be there. <laughs> Friends on paper rip apart. I always, I always go for the potatoes. Potatoes are live. Yeah, they're good. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierce got the good stuff. Oh, Abigail! Wait, that's my second favorite character. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving onto the onto that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Wait, you were trespassing like Grandpa's farm? Oh, weird thing to say, but okay. Uh, is no, Caroline, it's not here. I suppose we can go plant all of these things. And continue exploring a little bit. Hold on, hold on. I need, you know what I need, right? Oh, wait, there was Alex. I need to go say hi to, to Alex. I need the trash hat, but I don't have it. Hi, Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think you, we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. Oh, that's sweet. I'll see you around. See you. Are your grandparents home? Yeah, they are. Hi, George. Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? <laughs> Name is George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> I like your wife way more. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. See, Evelyn is so sweet. You can call me Granny if you like. Oh, I will, Granny. Granny Evelyn, I will. If the game had snakes, Abigail would get bitten by one while exploring that farm, or she would befriend them. I wouldn't be surprised. Hi, Pam. Hey, kid. Name's Pam. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Don't be a jerk. Oh, don't be... I, I thought that she's saying, don't be a jerk by the fact that I sat next to her. <laughs> and we'll get along fine. No problem, no problem, Pam. I am... I think I'm not a jerk, at least. <laughs> but then again, I don't know what these people think of me. Eh, wait, wait! Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Hell yeah. Come on. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Leah! I think Leah is like a fan favorite as well. A lot of people like her, I noticed. Little Hey, hi, Puita. Hi, how are you doing? Granny Evelyn, the sweetest one she is. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Oh, I agree. Let me go plant the, the seeds and then we can get back. Maybe we can actually chop down a little bit more wood because I need that chest like ASAP. I also need to, I need to reorganize my inventory. I really dislike how everything is placed. Okay, that is much better. We're gonna put the bean starter... Actually, maybe I can put the bean starter like... Oh, maybe... No, maybe I can put it here. Mm -hmm. And this will... This one freaking se seed will go here. And the cauliflowers. I just hope the crows won't eat it because I'll be so sad. Let's use up the rest of the energy. And then we're gonna meet some people. Oh, we should also forage a little. We need, I think, 50 wood for... Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have 50 wood by the end of today. We're already starting to run out of energy. Oh, 
how much does the one tree give you? Like 20 or only 10? I don't remember. That's 20, I think that was. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough. Oh wait, I have mixed seeds. Maybe I can plant that. Yeah, I'll prioritize seeds if I'm gonna use my energy. Um, maybe, just maybe. Can I chop enough? I just need five more. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Ah, yeah, okay. It's already shaking, so... Um, I guess not. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Matthew, what is with the emoji? Are you enjoying it that much? There's a green onion in the floor. Uh, in the florist, they might help you a bit. I know, I know about the green, green onions. Uh, but I'm gonna try to get those collectibles first. Here, maybe is there something? Unless it's not spawned yet. Hmm. I mean, I guess I should also prioritize meeting people. I don't think we can enter the community center yet, right? Yeah, it's locked. Uh, it's my escape energy. By the way, who won the poll for the air yesterday? Take a wild guess, Matthew, and I'll tell you tell you the results. Hi, Robin. Have you met everyone to town yet? Not not yet. I'm trying. Is anyone up here in the kitchen? No. Well, I'm going out then. Reese, you will be correct. Reese did in fact win the poll, but I thought more people were gonna vote for her because like only quote unquote 50% of people voted for her. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. Oh, that's sweet. I definitely will introduce myself to Maru when I see her. Leek, give me. Oh, wait, I just realized I'm gonna want to have the forgeables, but I don't have enough space inventory for that. Ooh. Hi, Linus. A stranger? Hello. But mind me, I live out here alone. I don't mind. Hmm. We should get back to the town. There's a leak in the boat. Who was the second marshal? Actually, no. It was Isabel. That's I was surprised because like 14 people in total voted. Uh, seven of them were voting for Reese. And uh Four votes had Isabel, and then Marshall had three. So I was surprised. I thought that Marshall has more fans than that, but I was pleasantly surprised to see that Isabel also got a little bit of love from people because, oh, well, she was getting a little neglected, not gonna lie. Okay, are you here? What's his name? I don't remember. He's not here. So this supermarket, they're bad. They're the evil guys. We don't like them. We want them gone from here. Um, I don't think I can enter. Yeah, because it's locked. Is Clint over there or is he not? So I want to say hi to him. It's locked. Oh, okay. So, okay, well, hmm. Maybe we're gonna meet someone somewhere. Wait, can I zoom out a little? Because I feel like it's a little too close. Um, oh, can I zoom out like this? Is that okay? Like, can you still see everything? If not, I can zoom, zoom back in. Wait, did I? No, that's actually not what I wanted to do. Oh, this is what I wanted to do. UID can be the same, yeah. This can be at 90. Oh, that's a little tiny bit better for me. I can see slightly more of the screen. Yeah, this is zoom for just the UID. Oh wait, I don't have space for this. No! What am I supposed to do? 
Unbelievable. You don't... I don't... I don't need sap. I don't need sap. I need shells more. Can I pick it up as well? Yes, I can. Perfect. Is Willie here? Or he might not be. He might be at the saloon. We should go to the saloon then. Then at the saloon there will be Emma. Oh, there is the Clint guy. Or hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Thanks. Hi, Emily. Emily. Oh, we both have uh, blue hair. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you if you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. I noticed. <laughs> All the stuff with Emily, right? Uh, I forgot what he makes that make him a creep. Yeah, he becomes like very possessive over Emily. And as I said, like he has that like nice guy TM thing going on. And he thinks that like... Emily owes him to be with him because he's been so nice to her. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to be with Emily and I'm going to rub it in your face because I freaking hate you. Uh, I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? I don't know, because I have to introduce myself to everyone. Why are you being mean to me? I saw her picture and remember it. Wait, this, does he have a picture? What was... Did you see that? I've never seen it before. Was that a raccoon or something? I'm not like the other guys. You're worse. <laughs> that is literally me at Clint. No, I just... I can't with him. I can't. He's just... A little bit... A lot. Should I... Maybe I shouldn't be selling these because we need them for the community center. You know what? Tomorrow I'm going to get a chest and I'm going to put... Oh, I'm going to sell one and I'm going to put these two for the community center. Yeah, yeah. That might be a good idea. I guess we're just going to go to sleep. There's nothing better to do right now. The first day over. Explain it uh, to Matthew how I married Shane one day. Ooh, can you tell me? I discovered last week that there is a special sword in 1.6. Is it really? I just, I literally don't know that much. I just know a tiny little bit. Um, but I don't think that my knowledge is sufficient enough. What a report. Oh, it's going to rain. Perfect. Fortune teller. Oh, very displaced. Not good. Not good. I got mail. Hello there. Just go. got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Yes, the fishing rod. That's where we definitely have to go today. We're gonna get a couple more seats. And then the chest. I really need the chest. And after that, we'll go to Willy's, I think. Uh, but it's really hard to obtain through normal means. Oh, how come? Because it's really a really well hidden Easter egg. Oh, okay. That sounds interesting. Can I get more water? Because I want to like finish this thing. Um, I, I ideally would want to get this whole thing up like this. So we will need seven more seats if we're gonna have enough money for that. Now, give me a chest. I really, really desperately need it. I was like, oh, you dance with me in a flower festival? Good, I'll marry you later. We divorce. <laughs> oh god, how to destroy a man? <laughs> 101. 
I think you would like the sword. I'm just gonna leave the name of it. Meow Mare. It's an Easter egg for Terraria. It's a sword from this game. That's cool. We do have a. Oh, I do have a chest. Um. Yeah, recipe. Okay. Now I can put stuff away. I definitely don't need that right now. Um. No, I need this. I'll keep this for now as well. Okay. Maybe I could just get a few more things, like a little bit more wood, because I always am running out of it. Meow Mir, how cute. I know, I like the name. We've got some new ideas to sleep on. Okay. I don't mind. I wonder if we're gonna see all those worms on the beach again. We go there. I need six seeds. All right. No, wait. I need to put this stuff away into the chest. Wait, wait, wait. I don't have enough space in the inventory to just run with this stuff on me. I should also probably, like, oh, click on this. To the beach. Getting started and introductions. 18 out of 28 people. Uh, I haven't met Dimitris and Robin's kids yet. I need Jody and Vincent. Okay, I know I think who, who we're missing, generally speaking. Six seeds. Six of them. Hi, Peter. Oh, there's Caroline. Wait, wait. We gotta go for sure. Um, one, two. And then with the rest, one, two, three, four. Oh, that was perfectly enough. Yay. Hi, Caroline. Hello, you must be Kato, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hmm, should I wear something special for to the aerobic meetup today? Don't wear something special, just wear something comfortable. Oh, she's just repeating the same thing. Okay. I just remember the whole catapult, the staircase on your pants. That was the whole thing, right? Like planning revenge against Marnie. The beach is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. You gotta spend some time in the sun or else you'll get all pale. Hey, do you want to hang out with me at the beach sometime? Do you have... Excuse me? Dude, we just met. That's... Mm-mm, mm-mm, Alex. That's, that's weird. That's weird. You're being a little creepy. Oh, Louis. Hi. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? Wonderful. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved the house. Oh, I think I'm gonna love it as well. Hi, Jess. Oh, okay. Tisk tisk. Yeah, just Alex not really being a good guy. He also kind of makes like misogynistic comments sometimes. Which, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not okay with. Hi, Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mommy says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go and play. Oh. Now off to the beach. Then, oh, actually, maybe we could go to Jodice's house. Jodice's? Jodie's house. And introduce ourselves to her. Wait, Haley! Haley! Wait, you're running too fast. Yeah. Hi. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever. <laughs> Aren't you? Yes, I am. Or whatever. Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Hmm. If you were, if you were for those horrendous clothes. You might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. You know, Haley. Bye. <laughs> That's so mean. Uh, 
Let's go to the beach. Each. <laughs> Haley, do a flip. Ah. Uh, Haley is just. I don't know. I I feel like honestly, I have a feeling that Haley just has a lot of internalized misogyny. She doesn't even realize it. But I see the potential in her. I think that she can be a better person than we think she is. Hey, let me uh, lower your self-esteem. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if she herself had a low self-esteem. So she was just like dismissing it and paying attention to like other people. Like, you know, like sometimes like if you look at bullies, for example, they bully people because they are struggling with something on their own. Oh there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Hello. Ah. Oh wait, I should be maybe talking like this. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out the salty seats. It was a big old. I saw a lot of good things. <laughs> finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. I don't know what that accent is. <laughs> Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of old fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe he'll buy something from the shop once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing with Alex and Beach got starships from Nicki Minaj in my head. Does it really? <laughs> Some bachelors at the start of the game. Hmm. Let me say some bad things later. I'll change. Yeah, your love will heal me. <laughs> you received a bamboo pole. Thank you. There's a good water here in the valley. All kinds of old fish. Oh yeah, my shop back open now. So come by if you need supplies. <laughs> I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Hey, <laughs> hey. That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Mm hmm. I see. Smoking. Ugh. <laughs> That's why his throat sounds like it is, because he's been smoking for so many years. I wanna I, look around the beach first before we fish anything. Are there worms? Yes, wormies. Give me. Clay? Yes, I need clay. A lot of it. I think I need like 10 clay. Hi, Elliot. For the silo, don't I? Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Fish, fish, and fish. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Grab a fishy. Mm. Oh, okay. I don't have to do anything. I think. Don't do it. Okay. Yeah, a new catch. <laughs> you know that I've never... Oh, I've never cuts of fish and this is what i want to focus on i really want to do a perfection run which perfection is very 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 far in the future for us but i never did it and that would be my ultimate goal for this entire stardew playthrough i want to do perfection i never done it before and i believe it is my time to finally do it oh no we can catch only one more thing and then the inventory is full because we're poor. We don't have space. Okay, who am I still missing? I'm missing Sebastian to meet him, Maru. They could be at the Robin's place. Sebastian, Maru, Jody, I think I haven't met yet. Should go up then. My friends were like, how do you start? Oh, on mobile, I was the fish professional. I can't imagine how fishing on mobile must be for this game. Because on PC, it actually also took me a little while to figure out the mechanics of it. Once I figured it out, I realized that, oh, it's very intuitive. But I wonder 
Is it the same for a mobile that you just have to like press it and then if you press it, the bar goes up? Or is there a different mechanic? And also, I would assume that fishing is slightly more difficult on mobile. Just, just a feeling. It's like tap tap. You can hold two, it's more easy on mobile for me. Wait, is it? Oh. I've heard like the opposite, that most people say that it's more difficult. Something of a professional fisher myself. Oh, really, Matthew? Well, then I'll definitely want some advice on fishing. Why am I... Okay, I want to talk to you. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Oh, see, Sam is nice. Take it easy. I need Sebastian and Maru. And then the wizard and Jody. Wait. Worms. Clay. Oh no. You know, I can eat the seaweed. Yeah, eat it. <gasps> Yay, I got my first artifact. Let's go to the museum right away. To put it in there. Because I want to. And then we're gonna try to maybe catch Sebastian. Maybe. Or we could go first to the farm and then to Sebastian. I actually started to, uh, trying to catch fish, catch, sorry, all the fish in Stardew. It's quite challenging, but already got a legendary fish. Ooh, that's good. I know there are some tips and tricks on how to do it, like some food and bobblers that you can get. Always when I take days to only fish, I would put songs for me to sing while fish. Oh, I love that. Winter legendary fish and the ultimate legendary are the worst. Really? Oh man, that is small. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Okay. <gasps> Shook. What's this? You found something? Let me see. Here you go, a spoon. Hmm, remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. No, I'm gonna give it to you. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? You can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. I will do it, surely. Oh, my lunch break is ending. No! Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I will. I remember getting like... In two tries, for like two minutes fighting. Oh my. Five minutes for just one fish? Donate. Rusty spoon. I don't know, I'm gonna put it here for now. Internal updated. Ooh, we got money. We can try to go... Should we plant seeds first or try to catch Sebastian? Maybe... We plant seeds first. Hi, Abby. Ugh, I'm not in a good mood right now. Oh, okay. I've got to leave you then. <laughs> or should I talk to her one more? I said I'm not in a good mood. What do you want? Okay, never mind. Girl, leave me alone. Why are you being mean to me? Hi, Evelyn. Don't mind my husband, George. He isn't a very friendly... He isn't very friendly to strangers. If you, ever, if you get to know him better, he'll warm up to you. Yeah, and he will send me rocks in the mail. <laughs> I'm sure you two come, could become good friends one day. Since you're so interested in my husband, I'll let you in on a little secret. He really likes leeks. You can find them in the mountains this time, in, this time around of the year. I know that. Wait! Emily! I work part-time at Gus Saloon. It pays the bills. Okay. I remember getting like... Oh, wait. I already read it. She's gonna scold you. Mm. Okay, just plant these guys. And rush up the hill. 
Maybe Mara's gonna be there as well. <gasps> Wait, I... I needed seven, not six. Okay. Mm, that's my... That's my bad, yeah. Maybe we can get some mixed seeds, please? Mixed seeds, hello? Um... Please? Or no? Wait, I think there is mixed seeds. I just need to put stuff away. I need one more of those. I don't know if we need a sardine for anything, but I'll take it. Or we can put it... Actually, wait, let me sell a little bit. These things we can sell. Let me see if I saw correctly. All right, guys, I'll be going for now. Have a fun rest of the stream. Thank you so much. I believe there are some specific places where there's higher chance to catch legendary fish like the sewers. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, then we'll definitely be learning all of that in the future. All right, guys, I'll be going for now. Have I read that already? What is wrong with me? <laughs> Bye bye again, Messi. Bye bye. Okay, I think Sebastian should have left his house. I don't think we can get inside of Robin's. Or can we? We can, but I don't think Maru's here. Oh, no, wait. She's in the kitchen. Hi, Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Mara. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Oh, the lights just turned off. <laughs> I mean, it's true. In smaller communities, a new face is like a groundbreaking thing. Like, oh, a new person? This valley has a very vibrant and diverse ecosystem. That's one reason why I was excited to move here. Sebastian, I see you. Hello. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. <laughs> you would probably have like a, you know, like cool guy type of voice. I don't know what, what, what a cool guy sounds like, but... <laughs> Out of all these places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Yeah, it's lovely here. I also inherited a freaking farm, you know, I have a piece of land. Actually, speaking of Sebastian... Sebastian was the first guy that I ever married in Stardew. And you know what? I... Looking back at this... I think he was like a nice bachelor, but... I'm not gonna lie, I don't like people who smoke. So I would not choose him again. <laughs> I know he's just a character, but I don't know. In real life, I'm immediately like, oh, you smoke? Not for me, not for me. Hi guys, how's the stream going, Kato? It's been going good. We honestly just been playing nothing really else. Ooh, I have another 50 wood. I could make another chest, but I don't think I need to do it right now. Oh, I think this is okay. Maybe, wait, I could make, like, uh, two... Yes, twitches. Wait, I, I just made only one. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot that the recipe requires two... Um... What is it called? Saps, two saps, yes. All right, I guess we're going to sleep. There's nothing else to do. Let me just quickly see um, how many people I need to still meet. Okay, I think it's just the wizard that's left. That's good. The stream is very chill. Thank you, you. I, I take it as a compliment because that's kind of what I'm trying to achieve. Just like chill vibes. Nothing really. Wow. <laughs> Just me embarrassing myself. That's yep. That's it. We got foraging level one. And we got some money as well. But today is Wednesday, so we're not gonna be able to purchase seeds. But that's okay. That's okay. We can save up a little bit of money. Oh, and it's raining today as well. 
We could go and fish, maybe. Fish and forage. Hmm. That's not. <gasps> no! You little. F Do I have a recipe for a scarecrow? I don't. Uh, I mean, I will say at least it took a parsnip and not something more important like a cauliflower because that would actually break my heart. <laughs> Advertisement! I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierce got you covered. Stop by Pierce General Store today and check out affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon! Well, it is literally Wednesday, Pierre, so I cannot actually do that. Maybe let's chop a tiny little bit of wood. And oh wait, I need uh I wanted to sprint. Oh my god, I, I pressed shift to sprint. I need my scythe to get all of that out of the way. I can chop some wood. And then fish, I think. Recently, I got to listen to some Animal Crossing songs. Very cool. I really like them. Oh, Yeah, they're really... Like, which ones did you listen to? From which version of the game? The New Horizons or some older ones? Uh, the theft crowd. If, even if we had a chance, we're poor. Yeah, we are poor, but it's okay. I like the struggle a little bit. The beginning. Can put all of that away, I think. And just fish right now. Probably that would be our best bet so that we could um, get also some money from that. And maybe we can also find some shells on the beach. Hmm. So go away, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I will say that at least he's promoting something useful, so a backpack. But I, how much is it? the backpack, the first upgrade? Is it 2,000? I think it is. So we are very far from that. Hi, Shane. No, I don't have time to chat with you. Okay. That's fine. I think it's the New Horizons. I'm not playing. I, I use the song for some art uh, posts. Oh, yeah. I like the New Horizons one. I actually sometimes use it in my videos, just like a tiny little snippet. Because it's very relaxing. Let's fish. We have only the worst rod right now and also the lowest skill. So it will be good to try to upgrade that as fast as possible. And speaking of fish... I also need to know what kind of fish do we need for the community center. I, you know what, hold on, I remember, I just remembered something, that speaking of fish, I actually made myself a spreadsheet so that um, I can check off all of the fishies that I caught, hold on. Hey, look at this. I don't know, can you tell? Like I just did all of the fish and what are the names? Uh, what is it there? What weather you can uh, fish them at? What season? So I'll be basically checking it off as we're gonna be going. Yes, I can see, okay, that's good. And maybe I'll do it for other stuff as well, but I already, look how many freaking pages there are. There are four pages filled with fish that we need to fish. Yeah, <laughs> so me, every time I listen to a beach, I hear a song, I feel haunted, no. Okay, let's see if there is anything that I have to fish in the spring and the rain. Oh, a legend fish? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely gonna do that. No. A catfish in the river, but I don't think our skill is high enough to do that. Eel in the ocean. Again, I don't think our skill is high enough to do that. 
Shad also. Mm, okay, I think we'll be fine. Oh, knocked my mic. So, river and ocean. I guess this is a good place that we're fishing at then. I think the stuffy print is really cute. You really designed them? Uh, well, oh sorry, <laughs> you really designed them well, thank you. Though, honestly, like, uh, it's not something really special, I just did a very basic table. And I just made it in a way that is easier for me. And I also color-coded it by seasons. Like, spring for me is pink, because it reminds me of cherry blossoms. Summer is blue because of the... Sorry, no. <laughs> not blue. Uh, it's yellow because of the sun, and you know, it's warm. Orange, fall, and then obviously winter is like, like a minty, bluish color, because ice, cold. Which I think is gonna help with trying to not miss out on any fish. Ooh, okay, I've got some new ideas to sleep on. I think that means that we leveled up in the fishing skill. Good. Maybe we can fish a tiny bit more here and then move on to the river? Or... Mm, or not, I don't know. Maybe there's a present. I need to get it. No, 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 fishy. Fi I, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 that was a save. That was a save. <laughs> I almost lost it. I was like, oh no, greed got to me. I thought I can get this chest. But I did. I did get the treasure. And I got the fish. Good. Uh, oh, wait. I mean, okay, I'll take it. But I was hoping maybe for some, like, artifact or something. Hmm. I guess we don't really need it right now. Oh! What's that? Sea jelly. A rare jelly found in the ocean. Plus one fishing. Ooh, that's cool. And also 88 energy. I wonder, can you make some recipes with this sea jelly? I mean, I would assume so. Ooh. I haven't seen that yet. Also, it's really pretty. I like the sea jelly. But is it... Is it a different thing than a jellyfish? Because I would feel bad if I just fished out a jellyfish. <laughs> and I was like, hey, are there any recipes you can use this the jellyfish in? I love playing Stardew on rainy days. It's more cool when rain in real life and in game. Oh yeah, because it reflects the same vibe. I get that. I like, for example, in The Sims, for example. Uh, for example, for example. Uh, in The Sims, when the weather matches the real life weather. I don't know what it is about it, but it just helps me maybe enjoy the weather in real life a tiny bit more because I romanticize it in the game. Okay, one more cast and then I think we're gonna move on to the river. Oh, those sounds creep me out. believe in you. Thank you, Sardine. Now we can go up the river. We just need to talk to the wizard as well. But I think uh, we need to first get that cutscene with the community center, enter it, try to read that thingy, you know which one? <laughs> and then after it, we can try to meet up the wizard. <laughs> the scared mushroom. I love this emote so much. I got it off of an off of Etsy from like an independent creator. And I just I looked at it and I'm like, I love it. It's perfect. It's so cute. Small mouth small bleh, small mouth bass. Come on. Do -do -do. Trash. Listen, I don't want to fish out myself. <laughs> That's not really the vibe. Oh, another piece of trash, okay. Come on. Fishy, fishy. 
Oh, the pink leaves. I didn't even notice them. Oh wait, I think now when you go to the map, you can actually see it looking different. We should check it out. I haven't seen it yet. Oh wait, present. Gimme, give gimme. Give and another bait. Okay, you know, I need to... Yeah. So, the map. Oh, yeah, it's definitely looking different. It's like a small change, but it makes so much more sense. Though now you can see that this road just completely makes no sense. It just kind of ends over here. <laughs> mm, but I mean, I get it. I get it. Maybe that's the point that it ends here and then you, you have to walk everywhere else. And there's the train track, which also makes no sense. <laughs> Um, we're not gonna question. Oh, wait, where am I? 2 p.m. What was the time that we could... I mean, I, again, I don't think we're gonna be able to fish out the catfish. But what time is it? 6 a.m., 12 a.m. Oh. Okay. Maybe if we got level 2 fishing? I don't think we're gonna be able to do it today though. Oh my, that might be the catfish. Yep. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I can fish, fish it out with just this level of the skill and also this, this, this fishing rod. Hmm. I'm thinking, like, who should be our marriage candidate? Mm -hmm. But, of course, I am leaning towards Emily. Because <laughs> originally, that was the plan when I first played Stardew and I never finished, right? So, Emily is an option. Uh, what if we, like, did something crazy <laughs> and tried to date someone who I don't like? I don't know. Maybe? My go goal is always level 5 fishing for easy life. Oh. I don't think I've ever had like a specific goal. Like, oh, I want this level of, of a skill to have before something else happens. I don't know. Do I need a shad for the community center? I don't know. I guess I could have checked on my fishing spreadsheet. I could have added which ones you need for the community center, but I kind of forgot to do that. Because then again, my plan is that once we unlock the community center, I'm going to do a, a different spreadsheet where... I don't know, should I save the sea jelly? I'm gonna save just one. Uh, I'm gonna do a different spreadsheet where I will... What I will do? Oh, where, where I will do all of the community center stuff so that we can keep track on what we've already donated and what we still need to do. He closes the hospital at 15. Oh, wait, what? I remember I wanted to date the doctor. Oh, uh, I wanted only for the scenes. Are those? As, oh wait, are his scenes good? I've, I've, I'm not gonna lie, I've never been like interested in him. He seems like an okay dude, but I don't know. I'm lacking. Was there? Oh, there's worms here. You can't see because of my webcam. But he just lacks a little bit of spark for me. Oh, I got my first lost book. I found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Imagine almost dying at night in the little hospital and it's closed. Yeah. I was just curious because I never saw. So I was like, yeah, I can try to get the scenes. Oh, a warm rain is a pleasant way to get clean. Oh. Poor Linus. I, I don't know. I always feel so bad, but then again, he chose this lifestyle and he always says it that like, no, I want, I want this. I don't want to feel uh, bound to a different place. 
I guess we can fish out until we lose our energy. Or we could chop a tree or something <laughs> with the leftover energy. I guess we're committing to fishing. Although I gotta say, I need to like come up oh, with some topics to talk about while I'm fishing. Because fishing can be a little boring otherwise. We talked about like living in a countryside versus in the city. Um, how about talking about like, I don't know, big crowded places? Because usually cities are associated with crowds, right? And countryside with living a bit more far apart from each other or in just smaller communities. So do you, for example, enjoy being in a bigger crowd? Uh, or maybe, I don't know, you like having a bigger group of friends? Or are you the type of person that you have just one or two really, really close friends and generally tend to avoid crowds? Because I think I'm more of the second type of person, but I definitely can have a good time in a bigger group as well. It really depends on the group, like overall group vibes. Sometimes you can just feel that something feels off and you don't feel as comfortable. But most of the time, if, for example, we choose as a group to do something together, I always have fun. But we actually, you know, have to uh, commit. We all have to commit to doing something because if some people are like, oh, I guess we can do it, then I feel like, okay, you're just forcing yourself and I don't like that. Uh, the thing is that he wanted to be a pilot, uh, but I don't remember it. He's scared of heights or he has vision problems. But logically speaking, to be a doctor, you need your vision constantly. But I mean, uh he he wears glasses so that's not a problem carp do i need the carp or bullhead i don't know i'll take one i don't know what i need for the community center yet it's it's messing with me let's sell all of that and get all of the stuff i'll need for tomorrow Okay. Uh, I think he has a fear of heights. No, no, I remember. I think he might be colorblind. Oh. But is it really like a bad thing for a pilot to be colorblind? What do you need to see the colors for? I mean, I guess maybe you need to see on the like control panel of the plane which lights are turning up. But I think you can learn, like, oh, the light over here means something. I don't know. I have no idea, genuinely. I've never been interested in becoming a pilot, so I don't know anything about it. I searched that it is. Oh, okay. I never knew that you can't become a pilot if you're colorblind. I don't know. Oh, spirits are in good humor. Oh. Hi, me sell hats. Okay, poke. Come to old, old, old house, poke. Bring coins. <laughs> hat mouse. I love the hat mouse. Adorable. Let's water every single one of these. We could get slightly more seeds today. Hold on, I need... Two over here. Plus, maybe we could expand the plants all the way here. So we would need 18. That would be 20 seeds. Do we have money for 20 seeds? Maybe? Hmm. We could try it at least. Crowded places make me feel less focused, which I like. Oh. You like feeling less focused? That's that's actually interesting because I feel uncomfortable 
at the thought of like not being able to focus or not having like a full control of my body and mind at all. There's something scary about it. 20 seats. Let us see if that's going to be like enough for me to be able to uh, get that done. Oh, hey. But for what I searched, the colors on the panels are really similar uh, to color people, the uh, colorblind people, so it's very difficult to see. Oh, so you, like, uh, there's only one panel and then different colors show up? Because that would make sense, because I thought that, for example, you have a panel and then you have, let's say, like, three different lights, one here, here, and here. So you could remember that, oh, if the upper one lights up, then that means something. But if you have only one light on the whole panel, then yeah, I can see why that would be an issue. Mm, should I bring all of these? I don't know. We need 20 seeds. 20. Let's remember, 20 seeds. I fear crowded places. I do feel a little bit anxious, yeah. But I usually feel a little bit anxious that someone, like, will steal something from me. I'm not getting much attention from strangers. <laughs> but then I also wear a red hat, yeah. <laughs> I feel that, I really do. No, I, I like what you're saying with that feeling of being anonymous in a crowd. That definitely is reassuring, because in smaller places, you don't have that. An anim animosity? I'm happy to buy any products off of you. I'll give you a fair price, of course. Fair. Mm -hmm. You're not fair, peer. 20 seeds. I think I need a lot of parsnips for the community center anyway. So I'll take nine. Uh, maybe two kale seeds. And then uh wait that's 11 15 all right and five more one two one two and one sure we'll have one of each oh wait wasn't someone's birthday soon oh hi maru Oh, I don't read what she said. Ah, still have some time. Nothing has been posted. Okay. Oh, got this thing. Hi, Alex. The air is starting to warm up. I feel pumped. It's one panel and all colors kind of look all the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that makes sense that he wouldn't be able to become a pilot if that's the case. See, you learn something new every day. I never knew that. Because I would assume that being a pilot is kind of similar to, like, being a driver. And you don't need to see colors, like, exactly which one is which, to be able to drive. You can just learn where is what and what it means. That's fascinating. Wait, do I have... No, I still don't have the rare crow recipe i think you get it through foraging so maybe we should walk around and forage some stuff hold on i'm just like spinning around not knowing what to do i think i'll leave these things mm, yeah and it's nothing here not good i need to forage stuff uh, I don't even know when I learned, but I remember searching it. Really? So one day you were just like, you know, I'm curious how to become a pilot. And then you just went for it. I love that. I never am the type of person that, oh, if something just, I think of something and I'm like, oh, I should research this. I, I don't do that. I'm like, ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> The saloon can get pretty lively at night. Sometimes we even put a coin in the jukebox. 
I'd like to visit once a week or so to catch up on things anyway. Hmm. I mean, yeah, Louis, you should have some fun. I think I, I searched because I was watching a K-drama. Oh. Are you well? I am well. Thank you for asking. No, nothing to, to forage? Devastating. Absolutely devastating. I'm just wasting time running around like this. Is there something to be forged here then? No. Oh, wait. No, I saw. I saw with the corner of my eye. Hell yeah. Give me. Oh, wait. I didn't realize you can walk past here for some reason. I don't know why. Hi, Pam. Blah. I had too many caravan porters at the saloon last night. <laughs> Go away. Oh, are you gonna... Like, um, puke on me? Please, no. Is this where the bookseller is? I think it might be. Ooh, another lost book. And some forgeables. Okay. When does he come? I think he comes like in two or three weeks, right? So we still have some time. Ah, rice shield. Okay. Wait, was that waterfall here before? I don't remember. That's cute. Is there really nothing? Oh, I see. One more thing. Can I get one more level, please? Or foraging? I need that. Please. Hi, Haley. Wait, do you like daffodils? For me? Thank you. Oh, she does like it. Okay. So many daffodils also. <laughs> we should go... Ooh, wait. We should go down um, to the forest. That way we could maybe get a horseradish or something. This is all new to me. Same here. Oh, hi, Jody and Caroline. Hmm, I wonder if I can... Uh, if I can get Pierre to cook dinner tonight. I'm sure you can. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Wait, did I not introduce myself to her? Oh. I thought the last person is a wizard. It's a quite a little town, so it was very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around can really change things. Thank you. Give someone a gift. Oh. Do you want a gift, Caroline? For me? This is such a thoughtful gift. Thank you. Hell yeah. And we got money. Oh, that's a rock that I'm stuck on. Ugh. I'm hungry. Where's mom? Right here, Vincent. Right here. <laughs> Go and tell her. Like, hi, hey, mom. I'm hungry. Can we eat something? I don't want this. Okay. Let's go to the forest. There should be some horseradishes and maybe some other things we can forage. Actually, maybe we could go to the spring onions part. That could help with the foraging level. Oh, see them. So many. Wait, did... did did they in uh, increase the amount of spring onions that there are? I feel like they're wearing that many over here. Oh, and horseradishes. Yes, I need that. I hope this is counting towards foraging. And that will be it, I think, over here. Oh, lucky. Yeah, it was lucky. They didn't. It, you just got a good percentage. Oh. I thought they did. Because it, like, it looked almost suspiciously a lot. I'm like, oh. Hmm. I didn't expect that. Oh, the mousy. I, don't, I mean, I have a little bit of money. But I don't really need a hat, I think. So. Oh. 
this a thousand okay i cannot afford it but in the future maybe we can get like a bow or something is there anything else i can forage i don't really see no i don't think so oh wait dandelion i'll take it I don't know if I saved up a dandelion for the community center. I may have not done that. Oh, I, mm, I don't think I can move up here. Wait, <laughs> and I didn't bring enough stuff to clear the path. So we're just going to have to walk around. It's fine. It's fine. We don't mind that. Surely. And then tomorrow, I think at least on the fifth day, the community center kind of unlocks itself, right? Or maybe I'm just I'm misremembering it. Also can't wait to get to the mines and start mining. Mining away. need spring onions for anything i don't think so right you don't need it for the community center so i can just sell all of that i guess i could plant some rice shoots we don't really need it to be honest i don't find this plant that useful in the game but i guess if we're gonna be trying to get get all the recipes this might be a good idea did i put one horseradish in here i did Okay, so the rest would be sold. Ooh, 14. Let's get some stuff. Maybe I can still get something from up the hill. Because I really need that new level of foraging for the scarecrow. Wait, does chopping wood count into the skill? The foraging skill? I don't remember. Wait, can I check on the panel here? Wait, where are the skills? Here, foraging. Oh wait, I think it can, because it says plus one axe efficiency. So maybe chopping wood would count into it? Yeah, we need to collect a lot of things for perfection. Basically everything, right? You need to do absolutely everything. Even buy that 1 million gold clock. <laughs> Which that, I think, is going to be the worst one, genuinely. I know there's a lot of people struggling with it. Can I pick something up? Over here, I don't see anything. I guess after that, we're just gonna go to sleep because there's nothing in here. Hmm. Oh no, I thought that's a horseradish. No, it was not. Yeah, I think it counts. I saw people going bankrupt for the clock. Yeah. Not a surprise, like I would probably, once we're gonna hit that point where we have to get that one, not one, 10 million gold, I'm just gonna get until the 10 million and I'm just gonna spend all of it <laughs> at once. So I'll be like, yep, all my money gone for just one single clock. I... <laughs> I was thinking I could eat something to chop more wood and get that level up. Maybe it's not necessary. Yeah. Let's go to sleep. Yes. Three hundred eighty-four gold. Is this the day where you get the community center unlocked? I don't remember. Because I think it's either the fifth or the sixth one. Ooh, rain all day tomorrow. That's good. And the spirits are displeased. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Ooh, the kitty! 
Oh, look at it. It looks even cuter here. Hello, Kato. You see this cat here? Yes, I do. They found it sitting outside of the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor little thing. Oh. I think it likes the place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? <laughs> Hell yeah, it can. Of course. I never bought a cat. I'll get fry. I'll stay real, staying really fast here. I'll be listening. Don't worry, you. Don't worry. Go and grab some food. What are the trombo? Oh, that sounds a bit too similar to a different last name. So, mm, no, thank you. Let us see. What if we name the cat? It could be something connected with the flowers as well, but maybe. Hmm. I don't want to name the cat dandelion though. It's it's like way too long for a cat. I think it should be something slightly shorter what about it's like a lily or something lily or daisy this is also kind of cute maybe daisy you also think so rizzy that daisy could be good oh a flower yeah yeah i want all the animals on the farm to be named after flowers maybe daisy is okay daisy okay well, little Daisy, you'll be a good kitty now, okay? <coughs> Daisy is cute. Okay, I'm glad you like it. And parsnips, finally. Wait, can I get a fertilizer? Oh, no, I don't have a recipe for a fertilizer. Oh, finally, now I'm getting the, the new level forging. Okay. Well... I have one single <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna save that. And wait, I'm gonna save also one regular parsnip because I may need it. And we need to get more seeds. I'm gonna water everything. Count how many seeds we need to purchase. And then refill that. Probably with even more parsnips because we do need five gold quality parsnips for the community center. Ah... Uh, but I can't make the recipe for the fertilizer yet. Hmm. But I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to try at least get a few. No one a chicken or a cow named Sunflower. <laughs> I guess we'll get there when we get there. We could have a sunflower animal. A little ray of sunshine. Here we have all on nine plus eight. That is 17, 18, 19, 23. 23 seeds. Okay. Oh, wait. What is it? A chop frenzy has begun in the mountains? What? What is chop frenzy? To our Valley Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operations near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Responsible stewards of the local environment is our top priority. Sure, buddy. Sure. <laughs> We apologize for any inconvenience this accident might have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris. <laughs> we don't like you. 23 seats. Let's go get to that. And I guess we can check out that thing that is going to be happening at the mountains. Because I'm curious to see. I don't know if I should bring my tools there. I think it's the rock of the mines. Yeah, yeah. But that little event, that pop-up that was on the screen. Also, I don't understand why the rarest thing in the game is auto pattern. I uh, use lucky food and two lucky rings to get one. It's crazy. Is it really? I don't think I ever got an auto pattern. So I can't confirm that. But maybe I can actually confirm it that I never got it. That it, it does mean that it's really rare. <laughs> Oh, hi there. And there is no way to craft it or purchase it. Is You can only get it through drop rates. 
Here's the community center. We have to go there. What an eyesore. Honestly, I kind of like it. I kind of like the vines all over the community center. It's not bad looking. This is uh, this is the Pelican Town Community Center. Or what's left of it, anyway. You can only get a Desert Down level 100. The percentage to it is really low. Oh. It used to be the pride and joy of the town always bustling with activity. Only if I choose to Jojo, then I believe you can buy it. Oh, okay. Mm, no, we're not turning onto the evil side just to get the auto pattern. <laughs> now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, young folks would rather sit in front of the TV uh, than engage with the community. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. Jojo Corporation has been haunting me to sell them uh, the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there is something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys a Jojo Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. No, we are not gonna allow it. Here, let's go inside. little junimos they're not gonna show up right now hmm what's this i guess vincent and jazz must have been playing in here <laughs> yeah definitely this place is even more dial up dial, dial how do you pronounce it dial up dial up than i remember junimo <laughs> What's stopping him is, uh, someday it'll fix itself magically, yeah. It'll just magically fix itself, yeah, it's definitely not us that are gonna do all the hard work. What's the matter? Are you ill? No, I just, I saw something. I guess not, oh. You saw something? Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats, oh. Ah! Genimo! <laughs> We're the chosen ones. Only we can see them. Louis is just too much of a normie. <laughs> You're worrying me, Kato. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm the chosen one. <laughs> Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Okay. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch... Uh, that rat if you have some extra time. Okay. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Yes, we're gonna go there right away, basically. Come on. What do you mean, Louise? There's a lot selling caps in the floor floors. <laughs> Magical words we cannot understand, but have no fear. Wizard is here. And he's gonna help us understand the language of Junimo. What else did I want to do? Oh, buy seats. 23 seats. That is how much we need. Also, let me check the calendar. Oh, there was this special event going on in the mountains, right? But I don't know. There was something like chub. Does it mean that you can just... Ch Fish a lot of chub in the mountains? Is that it? A Sunday Lewis's birthday. Okay. Oh, come on, open it. Oh, now I can go. It says cutie pew pew. <laughs> Seats for sale. 23. Okay, so I need nine of those maybe. I can get like three more bean starters oh three. Oh my god wait now i need to do this because if i press it accidentally on pier i'm gonna sell it that's 12. ok 
Okay. Five. Uh, seventeen. Hmm. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Uh, hmm, don't have as much as I thought we have. I guess we're just gonna take more parsnips. Okay, wait, I, I just realized I don't actually need three bean starters. I only needed one, uh, not one, two. Ah, because <sighs> now it's gonna ruin my layout of the farm. It's okay. Okay, we'll plant it. It'll be fine. Just have to figure out how to put it so that it doesn't block too much. I guess we can put it like here. Okay. And the rest just spread like that. Two. One. Oh. One. Two. And all of the parsnips. Okay, that's perfect. What shall I do next? Fishing is always a good option, but we could also go to the mountains to get, you know, like a sword and such. Because we're gonna be able to start mining a little bit. Though we don't have any food really to go to the mountains. To the mines, not mountains. What am I saying? Unless we could get some of the seeds. But I don't think I have a recipe actually for that. There is this one like granola bar recipe. Oh no, I do. Acorn, maple and pine. See, I don't think we have enough of that. Come on, give me seeds. Okay, I got an acorn. What's this? That's also acorn. Oh my god, that's also acorn. Oh, three clay. Maple, maybe? Yeah, okay. We can have at least one granola bore. Two, even. Two granola bores. Maybe three, if we're lucky. Do I have pine cones here? I do. Okay. Guess we can make three granola bores. And we're gonna put, I think, all of that stuff away. I'm just gonna, wait, you know what? I can take, like, a chest with me. And then we can put it in the mines. Mm-hmm. That'll be a good idea. Let's go then. Maybe a scarecrow, because the stealers will steal. They will! That's why I was trying to get that level of... Um, of foraging, but I think now. Wait, did I? No, I don't have it yet. But we'll get it. We'll get it soon. I don't know what that event was, honestly. Hi, Linus. Please don't destroy my tent. I won't. It's happened before. That's so sad. Who did it? Who? Oh, kick them. Hmm? Hello there. Hmm. Oh. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Honestly, if a mine shaft would be abandoned for decades, I would not go there. I would actually not go willingly to a cave in general. That does not seem safe. Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. How ominous. Here, take this, you might need it. Give me my rusty sword. Yay. 
okay. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you, prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Okay, I will. You know what? Before we're gonna go down the mines, I'm just gonna put the chest here. I need to, like, quickly go pee pee. So, uh, it will be, like, super quick. Like, we're talking maybe, mm, maybe, like, two minutes. So, I'm not even gonna change the scene. So, give me just, just one second. I'll be right back. Oh, but I brought a little visitor. Oh, she is unhappy. <laughs> I don't think she wants to be here. <laughs> That's Yunka, my cat. Okay, Yunka does not want to be here. Mm -hmm. I thought she's gonna want to say hello. I guess she doesn't. Mm. Well then. <sighs> Abigail would enjoy it. I saw on a video that the most dangerous thing in a cave is a water pond. Water pond? How so? I'm curious about it. Okay. Mine. Mining away. What was our luck today? I don't remember. Oh, we got a ladder right away. Okay. Can use it. Oh, now I have fur all over my my face. Oh no. Oh, energy is low. No! Don't slime attack me. Come on. Oh no, I thought I killed it. I didn't, I guess. We we definitely would need like a glow ring because it is difficult to see anything here. Also, I have fur everywhere now. That was a bad idea to bring her here. I thought she's gonna enjoy it because she was just sleeping right outside of my door, being super unhappy and miserable. And I thought, oh, I can pet her, but I guess not. That's just Yunka for you. Mm. Oh, I got a Chiot. That's good. I wonder if we can get to like level 10 today or something. That would be good. But I'm not sure if that is possible considering the lack of energy that I have. Oh no, I am really terrible at blocking. <laughs> oh, we got a ladder though. Oh wait, did I not take it with me? How did I do that? Uh, and like you can't see anything exactly like it's n in real life it's not like you can have like a glow ring i mean i guess you can like take your phone with you but it's gonna run out of the battery at some point oh there is a ladder already i didn't need to fight anyone hmm okay i guess that's fine level four maybe we can get to level uh level 10 today Blue slime. Come on, come on, gimme, give gimme. Give 
Um, I cannot see anything here. <laughs> Especially because I have a light shining into my eyes, so it's even darker for me than it is for you. Oh wait, I see a ladder, but give me a second. I need to see this in the Nothing here, okay. And... Oh god, I have fur literally all over my nose. <laughs> I think I need to brush Yunka out a little bit because she has way too much fur right now. Oh wait, there's the... Oh, another ladder. Wait, I guess I can take this and then leave. I guess it's not a bad luck day or anything. Oh wait, I need to eat. It doesn't give you a lot of energy. I thought it would give more. There's so many slimes here. Oh no. Um. Wait, there is a ladder there though. Nope. No. Oh no, no, no. Do not eat the sap. Wait, but also there is... Mm. There's some ore. I gotta collect it. And now we can go. Yeah, I think we can make it to level 10 today. <gasps> Look how much order is over here. Okay, we're cooking. We're cooking tonight. Oh, wait. I need food. I also have a cave carrot, so just in case. Maybe we'll be fine. Maybe. I don't know how much energy it gives. I guess we can check in a second. How oh, much? 30. Um, mm, that's not a lot. I guess we shouldn't be digging up ore. We should just focus on getting to level 10. Oh, no, 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 don't, 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 don't pass out. Come on, level 10, I need a ladder, like, ASAP. Oh, no, that is gonna be difficult to see, because I can't see anything. Okay, I li really cannot see. Nothing. Nothing at all. Um... Is there perhaps a ladder just like on its own? I can't see. No. Please? No. No, no. Please give me a ladder. No. Okay. Are we really not gonna get to level 10 because I don't have enough like food? I don't think I can eat bug meat, can I? Ladder, please? No! No, I can't, no! Oh, okay, that's actually so disappointing. Because I didn't bring enough food. And I don't think, yeah, I don't have like any food here either. Okay, I guess we're going back. Huh. <sighs> It's a lucky day to Kato. Not anymore. Because I didn't have enough food on me. No. Uh, okay. Well, at least a good thing is that we're gonna get the community center tomorrow. And the foraging level one or two. So that we can make a scarecrow. Shaking my head. This is why I dislike the early game energy bar. Because it's so small. And you need to eat so much to keep up with it. <sighs> At least we have a lot of copper. Oh, I can't craft a furnace even. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna take all of that here. And I suppose... Did I even sell anything? Oh, no, I did. I definitely did sell. Uh, or the parsnips. Yes. Also the basic fertilizer. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good, good. 
early game difficulty. It's always like that in the early game where you're like, you don't have enough energy, you don't have enough stuff to craft anything, and you're just struggling. Oh, is it raining today? I think it is. So we could go and mine. Oh, and spirits are in good humor as well. Oh, hi, Clint. Uh, I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Yes, give me the recipe for a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, just just get, give us the blueprints and then bye bye. <laughs> uh, how did you know Clint? Oh, we introduced uh, ourselves to Clint. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Thank you, thank you. We can go also to the wizard. Yes. Oh, another mail? I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got adventure spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay 10 slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurous guild. 10 slimes, that's nothing, my dude. That is nothing. I guess I don't need that. We're just gonna be mining, I think, today. I'll take an axe just in case, and I also maybe would want to crack a geode. <sighs> I really, really, really need more food. Maybe we can find some collectibles, like forgeables, that we could eat, some horseradishes and such. Oh, well, this is a little bit of a mess in the inventory, but just just for now. Just right now. Okay, now we can go. I mean, he knows we went in mine. That's that's a weirdo. That's a weirdo behavior. Okay, I guess it goes wild in the town. Granted, it's a really small town, so I do expect the gossip to go around so fast because people tend to have it. Like they just talk about other people, especially in smaller places. So like, you know, the second that we would start dating someone, everyone would know about it within like, maybe, I don't know, half of a day. Ah, come in. Okay, wizard. I know a lot of people would want the wizard to be dateable, which I mean, I like, I mean, I understand the appeal, but would you, I don't know, what do you find appealing about this man? He seems, I don't know, like, mm, not my type, I think. I am Rasmodus, seeker of the arcane truth. But as I said, I do see the appeal of like a mysterious, alone, magical person living in a tower. I guess this is what people are going for. My diary? My, my diary? I don't know. <laughs> Between physical and ethereal. Master of the Seven Elements, Keeper of the Sacred Cha. You get the point. Hey, Kato, I made home before the stream ended. Hi, Sirio. Wait, why does it show me that it's your first message in the chat? I'm like 100% sure that you have said more than one thing for me, Sirio. <laughs> okay, how are you doing? We're playing Stardew, finally. I knew Kato, the one uh, whose arrival I have long foreseen. Really? Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! Oh, Junimo! The sounds they make. Ew. Ew. You've seen one before, haven't you? Yes, I have. 
They call themselves the Junimos, mysterious spirits. These ones, for some reason, they refuse to speak with me. But I'm the chosen one, so I can speak with them. No, never? Just in YouTube comments? Really? That's so strange. Maybe I just recognize your username from, you know, the first of all, the Twitch subs. And then the YouTube comment sections, and I just combine these two in one. I'm like, yeah, you've talked in the chat before. <laughs> Maybe there's another cereal here. No, I think it's the same one. I just, as I said, the guy mistook it. I'm not sure what they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Oh. Hmm. You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I return shortly. He should teach us the teleportation spells. We need it. Look at this. I want to travel like that as well. I didn't have Twitch in the background, so I don't talk often. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Maybe uh, be one of the... Uh, T.Y. subs that I remember him? I don't know. I found a note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, uh, then you will see the true nature of the scroll. I'll have to watch the VOD to catch up later, so, as I really want to see the whole of the series. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. The VOD, obviously, you know, it's going to be up for, I think, two weeks on Twitch. But also, you know, wink, wink, VOD's commands. Uh, you can catch up on the streams on my YouTube channel. Hmm, what about the forest? What do they mean? Me. They mean me. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Aha! Uh -huh. What did you discover? Come here. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss crop, caramel top toads. Caramel top toadstool. What on earth is that? Can you smell it? Oh my god, the face especially. Can you smell it? <laughs> okay. Um, here. You want me to drink it? Okay. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. I finished eating. I did some tortilla with meat, ham, and cheese. Ooh, that sounds really delicious. Might be a venom mushy. Ooh. Ooh, the face and also the hallucinations. Listen, if I drank something and then later had proceeded to have hallucinations i would freak the hell out oh i would have so many deep trust issues especially for the wizard <laughs> i know he means well but he could have warned me <laughs> he would be like oh you're just gonna have some side effects after drinking it like what oh you know just hallucinations no biggie you've gained the power of uh a forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, oh, we have so many of these. I need to grab a furnace. That's true. And also, I need to make a coop. Hmm. Wait, I shouldn't be using my energy. Shouldn't. I shouldn't. But I didn't get any forgeables. I don't have anything to eat in the uh, in the mines. Um, nothing. Oh my god! No, I'm late. No point. <laughs> How is your farm going? It's been going okay. Um, we just unlocked the mines and the community center. We literally just visited the wizard and learned the Junimo language. Ooh. Oh, Shradish, give me. Nothing else here? Okay. 
So my plan is that I want to hold on. Can I check it like this? Yes, I can. We could take all of these you know, forgeables. I'm something this. of a scientist myself. Oh. I barely heard a notification. Thank you so much, Oliver, for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I want to take all these things to the uh, community center, open shields, and then go to the mines. Hopefully, we're going to get to level 10 today. Because yesterday we tried, but we literally couldn't do it anymore. Basically, we didn't have enough energy, and I also didn't have any extra food. So we were stuck at level 9. Have you uh, played uh, 1.6 Void? How did you enjoy it if you did? I haven't had a chance to explore it much yet, but I'm hoping, hoping for only the best things. Same thoughts, I am doing okay, just a bit hot. Oh yeah, we're also having still the heat wave. It's still going. Process geode. Ooh, okay. And we can donate these things right away. Oh, Penny, you're under the the roof. I'm going to go inside. I just wanted a quiet moment. Oh. No, no, don't leave. Ah, donate. I, you know, I really would want to color code it somehow in the future. Like white yellow you know like a rainbow thingy that would be nice i like seeing how sometimes people organize their museums and it looks cool to be honest i haven't had the chance to explore everything since i didn't play much stardew but some things look cool oh i see me forcing myself to play the event for a character i want <laughs> oh yeah the prismatic shard Ooh, Juja Cola. Wait, that gives us a little bit of energy. Okay. Uh, ten, 20 pieces of wood. I can do that. For sure. I could even bring it with me since I'm gonna be going that way anyway. Hmm. I color code it too. And you also do it? See, it's like, I don't know. There's something so oddly satisfying about color coded things. And you also, obviously, when you color code it, it has to be in the rainbow order, right? Like, we're all on in this together. Oh, wait, we have seeds. I didn't realize. Four of them. Okay. I need 20 wood. Um. No, wait. The opposite. 20 wood for robin i can put that away and we need to buy more um you know more <laughs> more seeds yeah that's what i wanted to say i'm gonna bring all of that actually this one i'll sell i want to take this wait i shouldn't be selling these because I might need them for food. Or at least these two. Uh, ooh. You ask, you all answer. I see that, Void. Tell me your star you, favorite star you character. Everyone also answer in the chat. And Void, you as well. My favorites are definitely Emily, Abigail, Evelyn... Ah, uh, and those I think, yeah, those three are my favorite. They're the sweetest. Let's sell two parsnips that I have. And how many seeds do I need to purchase? Four. Okay, that's doable. Hmm. Hmm, you, who, who are you thinking is your favorite character? Uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think any of the guys are my favorite characters. <laughs> it's always the girls. The girls are better. I don't know what to tell you. Don't tell anyone, but I snuck into the old community center last night. I think it's haunted. No, it's not. 
and four seeds i said right what if i got four cauliflowers oh wait i also need to make the scarecrow and the furnace mm. okay there's a lot of things i need to do I guess let's go back to craft all of that first. Mine is Sebastian, Emily, and Abigail. I also like the grandma. She's so cute. I kind of don't know because I really like Alex because of the story. I also like Leah. Oh, Leah here. Yeah. <laughs> and the other ones. Um, hmm. I like Granny Evelyn too. She's so sweet. She is. Honestly, she's just like a sweet little angel. I sometimes wonder how on earth did she get together with george like i guess opposites uh oh, wait i can't because i don't have coal okay opposites attract um so that would check out for them oh no i thought we can craft the scarecrow but i don't have coal well we have to go to the mines then it is necessary do i have anything here any forgeables no Oh my god, it's 1 p.m. already and we still haven't gotten to the mines. And we're not gonna get there yet. Because I need to put these in the community center. Give Robin wood. So many things at once. George is that synthetic cramp. I... <laughs> it's... <laughs> You know, I would never think to describe him in this way, but I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> it's just that it's so funny to think that he's a synthetic character. <laughs> Bottle complete! And we got mixed seeds. Hello, little Junimos. Nice. And another one. Mm-hmm. Wait, what else do we need to put? The spring crops. Green beans, cauliflower, and potato. Yes, five gold parsnips that I remember. Um, oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be such a difficult bundle to do. And one more was the fish tank. Oh, I think we saved one shot, right? That is what I remember. Oh, we have so many fishies. We gotta, we gotta get. Oh no, go up. Go up. Now off to Robin, and after that onto the mines. And I should probably check in my spreadsheet all of the fishies that we need for the community center. So that we can start working on fishing them out. Wait, let me talk to you. Do you know my dad, Demetrius? Yes, I do. He's a scientist. I have a lot of fun helping him out in the laboratory. Let me, let me pass through. Let's see. It compounds... Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was pondering on some data and I didn't notice you here. Let's go to the mines. Yes. Okay. Here you go. Collected. Oh my god, and I just gifted it to her. I thought she wants me to give it to her. No, okay, now this is embarrassing because, like, imagine getting like a log of wood as a gift. Like, um, okay, like, oh, why did you give it to me? Hmm, well. That was not planned. I hope we're not gonna have to use that much energy to get lower today. Level 10 is necessary. <laughs> Wait, I know this is not story re related, and I usually don't like talking about other games. When it's not the time I'm trying to get Nilo, she's guaranteed, and I hope I have to go I don't have to go to her pity. I hope so as well. I hope I wish you lots of good luck for that. 
<laughs> oh god, don't listen. That was not planned. I didn't mean to do it. Dimitris, if you date his daughter, get away from her. Yeah, Dimitris is kind of weird in that, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's a ladder. Perfect. But let me get more ore. No, let me, let me, do not attack me, slime. I need to save up my energy. He's very protective. But I feel like it's a little bit strange sometimes. Because the Maru, I don't know, I we assume that since you can marry her, then she's an adult, right? Um, it's kind of weird for a father to act so so weirdly protective over an adult daughter. Am I the only one? Maybe I am. Wait, we got coal? Yes! I can make a scarecrow. <laughs> oh my god, Void. I love how... Listen, how you misspelled it, it just makes it so funny because I was like, okay, hmm. What an interesting choice of words, but then I'm like, oh, oh, <laughs> that was not what you wanted to say. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. He treats Sebastian like really bad. Does he really? Okay, I really am starting to dislike Demetrius because obviously Sebastian is not like his biological son. But he is a father to him, so that is kind of weird that he's acting this way. Okay. I'm getting some weird vibes from Demetrius. Any... any ladder, please? No? Okay, I guess maybe we can kill the slime? Or not, because I can't get to him. No. Come on, slimy, give me the ladder. You didn't? How could you? And there's no ores here either. <sighs> I like Sebastian a lot. He was my first lover back then. Same, I was actually talking about this earlier boy that uh, Sebastian was the first character that I married. But now, like, he's no longer my type. <laughs> he used to be, but no longer. Not anymore. So I treasure him a lot. Oh, he's like my daughter. My favorite, my favorite, and then my stepson. You, yeah, exactly. That's how he is. Oh, amethyst. Give me. Yes. Okay, we are at floor nine. Oh wait, did I not? Hmm. I guess I can eat this. Stop using calves, that boy bought my boink you. In my, you, you don't know the time and the day when the bot decides. Actually, that's too many calves. <laughs> I will whisper now in lower caps, yes. Okay, come on. Give me the ladder. Gimme, give gimme. Give I believe in you. Because I need to save my energy. And I know that monsters have like a higher chance of giving you a ladder. So I believe in you. Come on. Okay, come on. Come on. Nope. Okay. And also no. Don't have time for this. I just need one more level. I don't want to get stuck on level... Why does it have a heart? It had a heart. I don't want to get stuck on level 9 again. Oh my. And I think I get rid of, got rid of all of the monsters. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh.
Oh, I can't put anything here. Wait. No. Mm -mm. Wait. I'll pick it up. I just need to put the boots on. Yay. I think we can also now go to the Adventurer's Guild. What should I bring with me? Maybe I'm gonna keep these things that I can use as food. And as I come back, we're gonna be able to craft the Scarecrow, I think. Oh, am I not proven yet? What do you mean? Okay. Unbelievable. I thought I can go here. Fashionista. Yeah, with my new boots. I have some energy. I wanted to say that I can chop some wood, but I don't have an axe with me. So I guess we're just going back to the farm. Oh, a leak. Wait, I don't have space for it. I need all these things. I need it. We need to start saving up for a backpack. I think this would be the first thing I will do. Is getting that backpack. I think it is, at least I think, 2,000 gold. So. Oh, they can donate it. That's good. Right, I know that I need fiber, maybe wood. What else do I need? Oh, that's it. Yay. Let's put him maybe here for now. And put all of that away. Need to put these two fishies in the community center. Good. And... Um, oh, I also need a furnace, don't I? Copper ore and stone. I have that. Copper and stone. Look at me. Look at me go. I only have two coal, but okay. I'll take it. My problem in Stardew is how careful I am with spending money. I mean, is it really a problem? <laughs> like, I feel like that's kind of the point is that it's teaching you to be a bit more. Um, how to say this like responsible with money that's how i would describe it it's 11 p.m already maybe i could craft one more chest or actually hold on maybe i could even chop some wood to use up my energy we need another chest this is heaven watching you play Stardew Valley while you're playing on my own. Oh my god, that sounds wonderful. I love that. Oh, wait. I need eight more. That's fine. How far are you in, in Stardew, Emily? Or em Emilia? How are you? How far are you? Or did you also just start a new save? My Stardew thing is I need bad wings. I must slay them all. <laughs> Cause I like to buy the butterfly pot to the core. The butterfly thingy is so cute. I also had it in my first farm that I ever played on. Oh, it was magical. I always try to uh, think, do I need it right now? <laughs> yeah. What else do we need to do? The cuprites, this thing, and also more wood. That I can do maybe tomorrow. Because we don't have any more energy. And we gotta go to sleep. Yes, yes, because it's already very, very late. Come on. One more day. Oh, I only heard 70? Okay. Not doing that good, not doing. Ooh, Queen of Sauce, finally a recipe. We're gonna need all of the recipes. And from what I've heard, it's pretty difficult to get every single one of them. I played two years ago with a friend, but I'm in year 14 there it's getting late so i started a new farm i'm trying not to rush that farm but i'm 
far from getting perfection or playing it completely though Ooh, yeah i really want to go for the perfection run with this save as well so maybe we're gonna be able to achieve it together oh my god i need that butterfly decor thingy I scream how adorable it looks i know same here it adds so much personality to any space it's really great i never passed year two really the, i mean granted the for the further the furthest i went was uh year three but that was before the ginger island because now i feel like since there is the ginger island and all the additional bonus content i feel like there's a lot more to do so you're able to play for more than only a little bit actually uh i actually played many farms because i wanted to marry every marriageable character oh so have you have you married every single one of them already and if yes which one you liked being married to the most because a lot of characters warm up to you after you get married and i'm wondering if there is a favorite that you felt like oh yeah it was like worth marrying them <laughs> let me see i need the fishies for the community center right mm, i also need to go to gunther what else do i need to do oh chop more wood yeah oh yes after that we should be fine with getting that little little thingy I tried to do them all just to, for the scenes. <laughs> I think you're not the only one. Looks like that's a... Oh, I have to talk to Robin. Like, that's a common practice that people are doing. We should donate these. Put this in the... Mm, no, no, no. What is it? In the community center as, as well. All right, I need to talk to Robin. So first community center, Robin, then we're going to go back down to Gunther. Or maybe I should also check if there is any fish that I could fish out up there where Robin lives in the spring. The first character was Sam. He's all nice and stuff, but I'm being honest, my favorite are... We hate the... Really? It's just how they warm up after a while, especially Sebastian. Oh, he gets so sweet. Uh, I would do anything for him at this point. Oh, I love that. I was saying earlier that the only thing that I really like disliked about Sebastian was that he smokes. I don't know, but again, I know this is just a game, but in real life, I just really dislike people who smoke. And so I couldn't, like, pass that in my head. I was like, but he smokes. Mm, should I look at... Hold on. Uh, what is it going to be? Lake or... No, lake. Largemouth bass. I think you can fish la largemouth bass almost at any point. Hold on. I'm looking at my fish spreadsheet. Um, where is it? Large mouth bass. Okay, now I'm not gonna be able to find it. Oh no, I found it. Oh, okay. All seasons, any weather. So we could fish it out right now. Same with carp. What about bullheads? Bullhead. I think that's called bullhead, right? I think we also can fish it out right now. Yeah. That's two. And the only thing we're gonna have to do later is sturgeon, but that we can do only in summer. We could go and try to fish all of them right now, if I have enough of the skill to do it. Well, 
One thing about I like uh, I like about Alex is that when we get to know him, he opens up without fear. I think that's like a common common thing for all of the characters that they start to warm up. Though honestly, like I think this is why I love Emily so much because she's just so open from the very beginning. Uh, looks like you got the lumber I asked for. That's big help. Thanks. No problem. And the gold is mine. Let's talk to Maru, maybe. Hi, Maru. Hi. Do you have fun working the farm? Yes. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yes, it is good. I mean, imagine that would be such a shame if I left the city. And then I was like, actually, I hate living on a farm. I want to go back to my corporate job. <laughs> imagine. Someone was throwing rocks at my tent last night. I just have to wait it out. Oh my god, that's... Who? Who was doing that? Why do I feel like it was Vincent? He gives me the vibes. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Wait, I need to focus. I need to fish out these three fishies. Which one was it? Bullhead, carp, and largemouth bass. Okay. I got largemouth bass. wonder if we can get all of them right now. Oh no. Oh, I think I'm not gonna greet out for the chest because. Oh, yo, 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 No, no, the fishy. The fishy is a little difficult on this fishing rod, especially. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 please, please. I can do it. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Oh my god, I hate the fishing rod at the beginning. Please, fishy, fishy. I can see you. You're, you're doing great. That was a large ma Oh, that's disappointing. That is disappointing. All that work for a large mouth bass. Mm. I think because bachelors, they feel so human, even with some cliche problems on them. I mean, aren't all cliche... Uh, sorry, aren't all problems cliche? I feel like it, you shouldn't come up with problems for the characters that are super complicated just for the sake of them being complicated sometimes simplicity is the best because you can you can relate to those simple problems oh i got so many things i just need one more fish i don't really have space in my inventory though i need the bullhead but i don't know if i can actually get it can i even get it in right now with this level that I have. Oh, wait. Fishing out something. Oh, that's that's a chub. Uh, I guess I can throw this out. Mm. Oh, wait. My cat is here. Hello. When did Mocha came, come in? Look at her. That's Mocha and Mika. That's Mika coming closer. Hello. Come on. <laughs> she's so small. She's trying to jump on top of the chair, but like she can't because she's small. She's like, I'll do it one day. I'll do it. I know you will. I know you will. Okay, let's go to the museum, I think. Or actually, wait, community center first, because we have two fishies we can put there. Then museum. No, don't stand there, please, Mika. If you remember yesterday on the stream, I needed to kick Mika out because she was being a bit too much. Oh, she is standing. No, don't on the keyboard. No on the keyboard. You can be on the desk, not on the keyboard. I, I'm scared I'm gonna have to get rid of her very soon. Like... This one, and then this one. Oh, she's trying to jump off the desk now. <laughs> oh, maybe you could hear the, the really loud thump. 
I love cats so much. Me too. I'm such a cat person. Oh, wait. It's this guy's breath. Okay, fine. Here you have a flower. Oh, I remembered old mayor's birthday. That's very thoughtful of you. And it's a nice gift. Okay, I'm happy that you liked it. Ah, I sense you've been spending some time in the old community center. You can smell it on me? What do you mean? What do you mean you can smell it that I've been in the community descent? What? Uh, I could really use go I could really go for a delicious potato. I'm gonna accept it, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to complete it. Cause I don't know how long it's gonna take for our potatoes to grow. And you only have, I think, two days to, those, to do those little quests. Uh, the lamp on the floor behind you is iconic. Because <laughs> the, the thing is that I noticed that on my streams, that like, this corner is very dark, usually. So I was like, maybe I can just put a lamp on the floor. <laughs> so here's a lamp on the floor. Eventually, there's going to be a bookcase in this area, and then maybe I'll put a lamp on the bookcase. Or maybe I was also thinking of some fair lights slash Christmas lights on attached, like, along the sides of the bookcase. But I'm gonna, it's gonna take like a long time before I get the bookcase, like a couple of months even. So for now, the lamp on the floor it is. <laughs> Making the community center is really such a pain when it comes to the friendship board. Yeah, the friendship board, it, it has all of those really advanced, I guess you could say, things on them. The rest is pretty easy. The friendship though, mm. process geodes. Oh, will I have space for all of this? Oh, I didn't think about it. Coal, give me, give me, I need coal, always. Stone! Okay, that's disappointing. I suppose we need to get back to sell all these things. Oh, get, let me talk to you. And then maybe fish even more? Nah, just add another lamp. Make the lamps the only source of light in the room. Turn your computer brightness down to the lowest. The lamp can do everything. The lamp is everything. <laughs> you know what? You don't actually need to see me. You can just see the lamp on the floor. <laughs> Imagine I would be like a lamp on the floor streamer and you just see the lamp. All of this is dark. All you see are those two lights in the background. <laughs> That's honestly a pretty unique idea for a streamer. I can maybe smell to this. Okay. And I guess use up all of the energy to fish. Let me see what I could fish. Maybe in the ocean, tuna, red snapper, tilapia. I think all of these are like summer fish rather than... Um, then, yeah, tuna is summer. What else do we have? Red snapper, right? Red snapper, also summer. And then tilapia will be... Also summer. Okay, so no ocean fish do we need. And lake fish, we did, we just did that. River fish, sunfish, catfish. I think catfish we can do in the spring, right? When it's raining. Lampadeling. <laughs> yeah, lampadeling. That is me. Uh, those bunny thingies uh, is hunting me for like half of the game now. I'm in year two in summer right now. Now I've finished everything else since year one winter. Oh, the rabbit's food? Is this what do you mean? Lamp streamer. I'm calling you Lampadeling from now on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Q 
catfish, catfish. Let me see on my spreadsheet. Oh, that, yes. Spring in the rain, but I don't think our skill is high enough to do it. This is son of fish. Ooh, spring. That we could try to fish. I don't know if we have enough time to do it, but maybe we can. And also tiger trout is... Is, is, is. is. Where is it? I can't see it. Tiger trout? Oh, fall and winter. Okay, that we don't have to worry about. So, sunfish it is. We have to fish in the lake. And also save up enough money for our backpack. I really, really need the second slot at least. Yes, the rabbit food. Oh man, I can't imagine. Because you need so much money to get all of the different animals. Like, I always am in such a rush to get all of the... Um, all of the money to get pigs. And I, it's it's such a rush. A rush is so much, and I always get the pigs so late in the fall that sometimes they don't even give me the truffle anyway. And I'm like, why did I do all of that? Why did I rush it if I didn't even end up doing anything we should also save up enough materials and money very important money as well for the silo it would be good to have it already somewhere on the farm so that we can collect all of the hay Oh, I already gifted uh, Louis a flower. Don't worry. He was very pleased with the... Oh, what did I give him? Daffodil. Yes, I got him a daffodil. We can only fish until 7 p.m. for the sunfish. And I kind of feel like we're not gonna get it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I just collect all of the flowers and I give them to the citizens. Citizens of Stardy Valley, I'm sure you're happy that I picked up this uh, this flower off of the floor and then gifted it to you. He doesn't deserve it though. Uh, he's not too bad. I mean, he's a little bit strange. I did see the new 1.6. Thing with the underwear in the basement which like huh? <laughs> I definitely want to do it at some point but I don't think we're ready right now I don't think so there's too much going on the money wasn't really a problem actually I got my animals all in one uh, in spring year two I got lucky and the woman in the forest sold these things that the pigs drop oh so wait, you still haven't gotten the rabbit's food? They didn't drop it? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, I'm done. And it is 7 p.m. and we got the sunfish at the last second. Oh, no, don't fish, don't fish, Sam. That's weird. Maybe you can try to find some shells on the beach as well. I mean, he has a gold statue of himself. I forgot about it. Oh, you're so right. Wait. <laughs> That's true. He does have it. Oh, these are different worms. He <laughs> he, carrot seeds. I got carrot seeds. Oh my god. We need to blend them. ASAP. And also, we're gonna go to the community center to that. Uh, to download, no, to donate this. Did I look through this trash can? I didn't, what a crime. You know what I love doing? Every single time I find this statue, I, I like putting it on the display for everyone. <laughs> Cause then I think Lewis pays you like silence money, right? That's kind of funny. I kind of find it funny to tease him just a tiny bit. He deserves it. No, sadly, rabbits only drop 
every three days and my unlucky didn't get any rabbit food oh no you just have to play those three days right now <laughs> and, and i'm sure you're gonna get it with the first thing that uh you log in you're gonna see it and be like yes fight me all this time i've been waiting mm, let me plant it oh we got this already i also need my watering can i wonder if the carrot seeds are even worth a lot I would hope so, especially since they're pretty rare, it seems. Because I, I haven't gotten so far any, and this is already day seven. Oh, wait, no, I don't need to do that. I guess we can sell all of this. And probably use up the energy on the cleaning up the farm a tiny bit. We could clean this area out or we could go a little bit down since I feel like this area is already cleaned a little. Uh, I'm so jealous of PC players because of the 1.6 update. I'm playing on Switch and the update doesn't come out uh, wait, in, until December? Are you serious? So you have to wait almost an entire year for this update? Because someone earlier did say that it's not out on Switch. But like, I I didn't expect that it's gonna be that late. What the heck? Also, wait, I just realized that I planted the carrots in the wrong spot. I wanted there to be like a space between the scarecrow. Oh, wait, I don't. Hmm. It's fine, it's fine. I can't see anything over here. Um. Hello? Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I just noticed. I need to go like here, I think. Yeah, so that it's a little bit easier. Oh, like that. And I think this path is almost cleared. Just this log. And the stones. Okay. Oh, no, not, not this one. This one. Uh, you got the 1.6 on mobile already. It must be so sad to see that, because like, this Nintendo, Nintendo's really slacking right now. The fact that this update has been already out for so long, and they're like, mm, yeah, you're just gonna have to wait even longer. Uh, wait, I just need five of them to smelt. Oh, took too much. Um, I guess we're gonna put all of that away and take the watering can so that we can use it right away tomorrow. And kitty, please, loof. Yes, sleep. Level two forging, perfect. And also fishing, that's good. And we earned 584, but I think uh, we're gonna finish today's stream right now. I've had a lot of fun. Excited to play Stardew. Honestly, we already did a lot of progress. So I'm really happy about that. I want to see if there is someone maybe streaming Stardew right now that we could raid maybe. Uh, I mean, there is a lot of people streaming Stardew, I see. Okay. Oh, wait. Stardew Valley X Pokemon modded farm? I want to see that. That seems cool. Okay, maybe we can try to raid this person. Let's see what mods she has. Uh, her name is Elena Monster. If I spelled it correctly. Yes. Okay, let us go say hi to her. I think honestly her farm already looks really cool. So let's go say hello. Thank you so much for being here with me on the stream. 
and see you next week with even more star view bye bye